Oh, welcome everybody for a new Let's Play Medieval. I've been wanting to play this for since I, I was a child. I never got the chance to play the first one. I played the second one. Jesus, the song is loud. Hold on. Yeah, that's about right. That's what I was saying. I played the sec. I smoked the second demo. Because we only had the demo. And I did play the PS Vito. So, going back to this game, I've been wanting to play it for a while. So, shall we start it? That looks amazing. I did try it out the beta. It's basically the beginning. But I think you still you get the helmet if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, there it is. It in the back corner. Again. Sir Daniel See? The hero oh no, now it's gold. I think. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. But we knows better. <laughs> Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Serac and live up to the legend. We hope it does well. So, look, give you a warning about the recording. It is raining here. Just started. Oh, oops. Oh no, it's now gold. Wait. There's the helmet. Worth its weight of gold. Yeah, I bought the edition. You must be out of shape after 100 years lying on your back. Use the crypt to get to grips with your new lease on life. Oh, gold. Any treasure that you find will be added to your coin token. I like how his head spins. Are used to buy items I really love that a lot. Sometimes I look around his head like sees, like stares at you like, oh, we're going to do with something or not? Some weapons contain powers and abilities beyond the ordinary. Be sure to test every weapon to discover their secondary abilities. Some weapon abilities are immediate, and some may need a bit of time to charge before they realize their full potential. Yep. 
copper shield, and the sword. This is going to be a casual playthrough. If there's any collectible in this game, I'll do it later or off camera, along with maybe the hardest difficulty because I want to play it. Which will keep a record of the denizens you've encountered and bestow you with keen insights that only a disembodied voice could provide. Inventory. Super armor equipped. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna play it casually. You will find life bottles throughout Galamir. They contain the same magic that rose you from your slumber and will raise you from the dead once again. When your life is low, using this bottle will help you feel a little better. And remember to fill it when you can. When you're ready to leave this crypt, you'll find an exit at the end of the hall. To unlock the gates, you must find a rune stone and place it in the ornate hand set next to the doorway. Let's go for it. Okay, look. Track down Zerok by retracing his diabolical odyssey through Galonia. You can spot the exits from an area by looking out for his stinking trail of magic slime. Good to know. Medieval. Oh, the classic map. Oh, it looks amazing. Somehow that uh, voice reminded me of Deadliest Warrior, the game for the Knights. Welcome back to your beloved Galamir. The stinking dead have risen up to dance with the lifeless living, and they want to do it over your dead body. Ooh. Heroes of the Hall are not supposed to intervene in mortal affairs, but when they heard that Sir Daniel Fortescue had a shot at redemption, well, they decided to give you a hand with your depth perception. He will circle enemies, helping you direct your ranged attacks, but he'll also let you know what things might merit a closer look. Stepping into this fountain of rejuvenation. All right.
Sometimes it may be useful to view the world from a different point of view. Be sure to take a moment from time to time to enjoy the beauty of our beloved Galamir. Keep your eye peeled for anything interesting. Narp. Wow. Well. Switch my weapon. Remember, nothing remains hidden under the gaze of an angel. The object here is the chalice. Every time you dispatch an Ooh. enemy with a sword, the chalice fills a little more. Fill the chalice and then collect it, and you will be worthy of visiting the sacred hall of heroes to claim a new weapon. There is a chalice to be found in every region of Galilee. They are all hidden or well guarded. Only a true hero will collect the full set. That's what I'm probably gonna do. Oh, the bones. That's kind of cool. If I remember correctly, it was kind of different look. Let's go collect that chalice, shall we? All of heroes awaits. Dave! 
damage to each other, now I'm realizing. Oh, now the copper shield. Feel free to have a paddle in the shallow water, but don't be tempted to go for a swim. Buoyancy can be a problem for those of a dead disposition. <laughs> All right then. Tread softly. Zeraka waits beyond these gates. The master meets with the demon from the mausoleum. Plots of purest evil. I like how they kept the original voices from the first game for this voice. Kinda happy about it. Hall of Heroes. Warriors from history spend eternity feasting, singing, and arm wrestling. If they think you're worthy enough, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. Hmm. Got anything to say? Oh no, there's a store. To pay homage to the heroes, stand in front of their designated statues and await spiritual guidance. Ooh. Let's do it. Speak to your hero. You. It's me, Canny Tim. Does the battle go well? <laughs> How I wish I could fight at your side again, sir. But hold, you could take my crossbow. It's got rapid fire and you can ricochet the darts off walls to shoot around corners. Cool. the Battle of Ganymere. After you were slain, I shot Zarek's champion, Lord Kada. A clean kill through the eye at some thousand yards. <laughs> Not that there's anything clever about shooting someone in the eye, sir. What? Stop. Goodbye, sir. Getting the crossbow. Oh, that's kind of cool. See the chalice there. Oh, ah, there it is. Sir Daniel. Oh, there's only. Oh, no, there's some couples. Only when you are truly worthy as a hero will you be able to ascend to the higher level of this hall. When you have paid homage to all of the heroes in the lower hall, the ghostly stairs will then become solid. Good to know. All right. Let's go for it. Yes. So, even from the shackles of death, my old enemy pursues me, 
You're too late, Fortescue. Already my army has risen from the grave. You will never leave this necropolis. <laughs> Some obstructions can be smashed down with clubs and certain other weapons. Try experimenting. All right. Try the crossbow. Nick. Archaeological interest. Destroy the boulder and plunder the valuable treasures within. Hmm. I imagine it needs a club. Can I cut this? There we go. You only need a club, I imagine. Yeah. Or a hammer, actually. It's a crude but effective weapon. Bash with it, burn with it, but beware, one bash too many, and it will break. Holy fires burning all night while they brewed up unspeakable muck in their cauldrons. They moved on years back, but the smell still makes our eyes sting. Hmm. Oh. Oh. 
Witches and witchcraft enthusiasts. A witch's coven would reach the height of its power only when all of their sacred flames were alight. Witches have been known to offer help to the questing adventure, yet they are a reclusive people and have to be summoned by the aid of mystic charms or talismans. Mm -hmm. Let it be known that help from a witch is rarely given freely. And the witch will more often than not make a request of the adventure before any such help is given. If seeking to summon a witch, remember that they are quite territorial. Any signs of previous witch activity in an area is a good indication that a witch can be called upon. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Oh, okay. Wait. So there's something up here. I don't like this. One bit. Oh. Oh, boy. Huh. Well, there's a vial there. Fuck. Okay. No vials, but two. Alright. Here we go, I guess. That worked. Oh no! Now it worked. Copper shield. Ooh, the chalice! <sighs> Again? Fuck! So what do I do now with the item? Perfect gift. Also, oh, I can use it. Ow, 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 ow. Could I use it now? can because of the symbol right here. Yeah, alright. There we go. Alrighty. Ok, 
Or... Oh, ow. Well then. It's going well. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. This one's rolled. Okay, good. Uh, no! Ah! Uh, oh no, I'm here! We have failed the master. We give our lives. I have one percent of health. Jesus. would be wise to be thorough in the exploration of an area. Hidden locations would reap great rewards. I already did, ma'am. First of all, there was some stuff down here I'd like to get. This one. Copper shield. This nice pile of gold here. Shield. Guess I'm gonna be using copper shield a lot. <laughs> Good to see that chest down there. More copper shield. Alright, I guess I'm gonna be using copper shield. Unless this boss requires copper shield. I'm all up and then I'm all about it. Come on, get up. so soon? It must think it is a hero by now. But only a true hero is worthy of a place in the Hall of Heroes. See the ghostly statue of your fraudster self? When it has turned solid, a true hero you will be. Alright then. Okay, yeah, the club's not going to be available soon enough. Oh, it's a phantom. Okay. Oh, I talk. It's two chalice. Do I have to talk with you again? Hurrah! I knew it would take more than the army of the evil dead to throw your sprites up. I have something that may help you on your quest, Captain. Yep. I give it to you freely, though I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Alright. Oh! Another life bottle. Nice. Alrighty. Let's get out of here. Oh, oops. Yes. Oh, 
teleport. Hilltop Mausoleum. I'm not gonna like this. I think this is a boss battle, if I'm not mistaken. Stein to me to don't keep him waiting. He's got a heart of a glass. Oh no. I think I know which one is this. <sighs> Sorry, Daniel, please stop looking at me. <laughs> You are entering a house of pain. Rumors abound of evil doings in the secret catacombs below this very hall. All right. For sticky fingered imps. These thieves will strip you down to your armored undies. Rumor has it they fence their stolen wares with the merchant gargoyles. Oh. That's not good. You can see why they gave me like three copper shields. I guess that's the appropriate to use uh, the mallet, but that's fine. There's the moonstones up here. Oh! It was slightly worse. You are still alive. Come back here. My sword! He made that back. The stained glass demon is the master of the mausoleum. His wretched soul lies preserved inside a frozen glass heart. Shrouded in a veil of darkness beneath the mausoleum, you will find this pre frozen menace. Hold on. Hi. You almost snatched my thing. Come hither. Okay, I'll go back now. You. What's over here? Oh, oh the moonstone. Oh. I guess I'll take it. Sure. 
Oh! Interesting. The would-be phantom longs to play a new tune, but he seems doomed to repeat the same cause of despair over and over. Huh. Fine. Yeah, I guess I'll break through a knife. Alright then. Laura. Ooh. Oh, I gotta push this. Nope, wrong way. Yeah. There we go. I don't think that's supposed to happen, but okay. But I got the moonstone. Feeling that's not what you're supposed to do, but okay. Apparently, I got a new music sheet, so I guess this belongs to him. Yeah, I don't want to. Fuck. Didn't mean to touch that. That's actually cool looking. Hi. How you doing? Oh! Hey! Nope. Oh! Oh, the white need. Yep. Hold on. I think I know what I need. Oh, ow. I think I accidentally switched my sword. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I can't. Oh, no. Come here, though. Ow. 
Ow. Ow. Nope. I like the song a lot. Nope! Oh! I keep getting hit by that. Ooh. I'll die. Whoops. Got another club. Nice. Ah, okay. The Hall of Heroes. The Hall of Heroes shopping mall. <laughs> Bargain hunters should check out the ground floor. Well to do shoppers should check out the upper floor. That's where it's at. Nice. Oh, over there. Hi there. Ah, Fortescue. What's this I hear about that archcat Zarok still being alive? Near Iron Hure. Bring down the hammer. Okay, so it's basically a permanently now. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Uh, but it takes a while. Well, it's kind of fun to come back and play. Well, I say that, but I never did play the first one. But yeah, I've been kind of happy to play this. So, thank you for watching part one of Medieval. We, well, we. I hope to see you back in part two. So, uh, take care. <laughs>